Hello guys and welcome to Hudson League and 19th match day, last match day of the year, last match day of the first round. So let's see which tips uh, Alem Balnegri can give us. And of course, remember, I want to know your opinion. Leave a comment below in the video and don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to our videos and our channel, of course. Let's go on with the show. Last video of the year in France for Ligue 1, last round also in this, uh, or last match day in this first round. And of course, we have Alain Balnegri with us. How are you, Alain? I do fine, really fine. I'm passionate to, uh, to, to 2021 will be finished. And uh, Ligue 1 is really, really interesting, especially the fight for the European spots and for the relegation. We enjoyed uh, a weekend with the Coupe de France and now it's time to focus in Ligue 1. And the first game is very interesting. Actually, we have Monaco run uh, because Monaco, they won in the cup, but they need also to climb in uh, Ligue 1 after that defeat against uh, PSG. They were improving though before that game and run. They also beat uh, Lorient in the cup, but they are coming from a defeat against Nice. Uh, probably we should go for goals in this game because the outright market is tricky, I think. Yes, is one uh, is one possibility. Is, um, with Monaco, I am not so confident with the goal because it's a balanced team. It's a really balanced team, and uh, especially against the model of play of, uh, of Stade Rennais, I have a lot of um, some doubt. Some doubt. <laughs> who who uh, came better? Uh, I think uh, Stade Rennais came uh, came better. Came better. Uh, than, uh, than Monaco. Uh, I saw a Monaco not with a, uh, with a, with a team, with a streak, with seven, eight uh, game winning. It's true at home, the, the balance is really positive because we must to, to go back to the, to the game against Shakhtar in Champions to saw Monaco losing at, uh, at home. But in this moment, Rennes, is traveling really well. Uh, they're winning uh, against uh, Saint Etienne 0 5, and uh, uh, I think that one uh, can be in favor for uh, Rennes. I want to try to draw no bets at 2.25 for the Breton team. Odds 2.25 then for uh, Rennes, draw no bet or Asian Handicap 0. Uh, Rennes, they won the last two away games, as you mentioned, San Etienne and Lo Rian. Another good game, Bordeaux, Lille. If uh, Monaco is not very consistent, Lille, at least in the last weeks, they are in good form. No defeats in the last uh, six games, showing some improvement. That's why. The odds for winning in Bordeaux is around 2.0, but Bordeaux, they are coming from a very important victory in Ligue 1 against Troyes, so right now they are two points away from relegation. Yes, in change. Bordeaux is, is difficult to have uh, I, an image uh, really clear about the, about the team, but they suffer more when they play at home. And Lille is comfortable when uh, uh, their play, uh, their play away. Uh, we saw uh, in the last months uh, the version of Lille about the last season. Uh, a really strong team, serious, uh, with a lot of uh, uh, with a lot of uh, powder in the in the last 30, 30 meters. And in the last the last four game away, they won in Sevilla, they won in Rennes, they won in Wolfsburg, and they draw against Monaco is very really positive because th that month was really sensible for for Lille and I think that they'll, uh, they'll go out uh, uh, with uh, with a lot of uh, position of uh, positive uh, vibration now they must to finish that work and go to Bordeaux is a special game because the president the actually president of Bordeaux was the president of Lille nine months ago and it was a special, really special game. But I think we can try Lille uh, winning in uh, in Bordeaux. The odds 
are interesting. 1.93 for the victory of, uh, about Lille in uh, south uh, western France. All right, then Lille victory. Then uh, we have Clermont, Strasbourg. Unfortunately for me, <laughs> I bet on uh, uh, Clermont to lose again, but they were able to beat Angers, so they escaped from the relegation zone. And Strasbourg, they won actually the last away game against Nice, but as you predicted, be careful with the game against Marcel. And indeed, they lost it. Uh, Strasbourg, they can finish in European position. In this first round, what do you expect? Because the odds for the away team are very good, actually. They are very good. And it's crazy because every game of Clermont-Ferrand, every game, when they play at home especially, the the second two is always more than two. Mm. And we saw the, 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 the classification and we saw the uh, the last weeks about, uh, about Clermont. It's really strange. But that one we must to uh, we must to, to try because the hots are uh, really interesting. Clermont have, have a, a lot of uh, injured players for that uh, for that game, and Strasbourg uh, away uh, they are really positive. They're winning Valenciennes in, in uh, French Cup the, the last uh, weekend. They win and and needs. Um, I think we we must to try because the hots. Are so are so interesting. Include the the draw the victory of Strasbourg draw no bet 1.75 is really interesting. Yeah. But we love the risk and uh, the risk is take the the victory of Strasbourg at 2.45. Two victories away Strasbourg this season in Ligue 1. As I said, the last uh, time they travel actually they thrashed Nice uh, zero three. Less interesting odds, at least for the outright market, of course, for PSG to play in Lorient because finally Lorient, they drop into the relegation zone. They are the worst team, I guess. Uh, I mean, I guess, I'm sure, <laughs> in Ligue 1, probably with San Etienne. Perhaps this is also the last uh, game for Pelissier, no? because it's difficult that he can stand the whole Christmas period with the team in relegation zone and probably they will have a heavy defeat against PSG. Well, you know, it's terrible, the situation. It's, I don't remember a, a manager can uh, can stay in his position after eight, eight losing mm. game with only two goal score. It's really crazy. Um, now the last game in uh, in Rennes, we saw the limit about uh, about Lorient, especially with the goal. Uh, PSG must to uh, to to win that uh, that game and take a little revenge because the last season they've lost in Lorient three two, and that point was uh, was really important uh, to lose the for losing uh, that uh, that Liga. Now. Uh, the difference, the gap between both teams uh, are really are really strong. Now I think PSG, um, both teams no score. I re I'm really surprised about the odds. 2.14 with a team had scored only two goals in last eight games. So both teams to score? No. No, no, both teams no score. Exactly. Both teams to score? No. We have odds uh, 2.14. PSG, if we want to find good odds to win in the Asian Handicap for this game, if someone is interesting, interested, we have to go for minus 1.5. We have odds 2.12. Actually, it's not that bad. So if they win for two goals difference, you get odds yeah. 2.12. Not uh, bad as well. I guess we all expect uh, PSG to win heavily. And the next game is interesting as well, Montpellier and Je, because Montpellier is one of the biggest surprises of this league. Ah, they can finish the year in European spots, three consecutive victories. The last game was a 0-4 against Brest, and they were really in form. And Je, Allen, not easy to predict uh, lately. One victory in the last four games. Do you like these odds for Montpellier to win? I love. I love that because Angers came out uh, in, uh, in Coupe de France uh, 
uh, against amateur team, 2-0. They lose the last game uh, before the, the French Cup against Clermont at home, 0-1. Uh, I think it's, it's difficult, but I think it's a really difficult game because Angers have the model of play to uh, to limit Montpellier because Angers is really comfortable without the ball, and uh, Montpellier is comfortable and live with the with the ball. Now Montpellier is in a very good uh, streak. Um, this team is really fresh. That uh, I think they work uh, really good the last summer. They lose Laborde and Delors, who means. 70% of the goals uh, about the team. They lose all the, um, his uh, center defender um, with a lot of experience. They bet for the, the youngness, for young player. And now is, for me, one of the big best surprises in, uh, in Ligue 1. Uh, the odds are uh, so interesting for uh, for that game considering the the moment of form of both team 2.30 for Montpellier winning at home okay i i also thought that that was very good uh, the next one is super tricky because we have nice lens a very good game of course nice fourth lands uh, six but we have a team like Nice, that they are not performing well at home. Last home victory was in October in the Allianz Riviere. And Lance, a team that uh, is not performing well when they are playing away. Last five away games, four defeats, one draw. What do we do? It was the opposite. It was the opposite uh, about the, the, the beginning of the season. At the beginning of the season, there we won uh, away in Monaco, in Marseille. Uh, uh, easily and at home they uh, they have some uh, some problem they have some some difficulties now uh, loss uh, in the last uh, in the last week for that game Caputano will be not stay Medina really important uh, center defender uh, left um, uh, Argentinian uh, was not uh, able uh, will be not able uh, now Nice is every week the same Needs when they play at home, all the people say they play at home, they will be win, and they don't win. Mm -hmm. And after when they travel in the last the last two games outside away, um, we said here they don't win, they don't will be lose in Paris and in Rennes, and in both game that uh, that have points, draw in Paris, winning in uh, in Bretagne. Uh, now. Needs will be must to uh, to start to to winning, but in this moment, I think Lens can be able to uh, have a positive results in uh, in Nice. The the double opportunity is interesting, 1.75, and I think we can try about uh, Lens don't lose in Nice tomorrow. Two teams that are not really reliable, Nins and Lance. What to say about Lyon? I think it's right to say after seeing the whole first uh, round of fixtures that is very disappointment, disappointing the first uh, part of the season for them. At one point, Allen, they were playing very good in the even in the Europa League. They got uh, good results. I remember that game against uh, Rangers, but in Ligue 1, they are 13th, uh, three winless games. And they are playing against Mets that finally they are out of the direct uh, relegation spots after the last victory. Yes, in December, uh, Lyon don't win. Three draw, uh, they lose against us at home. Now, Mets uh, with Lyon are the worst team in Ligue 1, actually, for the point, for the feeling about the. The synopsis of the of the game, they lose, uh, in the, they go outside in the uh, French Cup uh, against uh, Bergerac, uh, who play uh, in fourth division, in the fourth division, they lose against that team, they don't be able to score uh, against uh, Bergerac. Uh, now, well, if we must to found or to search something about Lyon do well, that uh, this season is uh, the defensive phase. 
because they don't receive a lot of uh, of goal and i think that one can be can be uh, an argument uh, uh, to um, to to bet that uh, that game both team no score odds 2.00 And uh, then we have an interesting game, San Paoli against Oscar Garcia, Marcel against Reims. Uh, Marcel, they can end up the season better, of course, than Lyon as runners up as second. Although they are a bit up and down recently, uh, at least they won the last away game. It was a difficult one against Strasbourg, but at home they are not very reliable as they showed against Brest. Uh, could you see a surprise with uh, Reims that they are, they are playing well actually in the last games, three victories in the last four games in Liga? Uh, sincerely difficult. Difficult. I think Marseille in the last uh, in the last weeks uh, we saw uh, uh, an improvement, uh, an improvement uh, in, uh, with the, the finalization, uh, an improvement uh, about the, the system of play. Who want uh, San Paoli? San Paoli uh, have the, the idea uh, every day more clear about his uh, his, his um, titular and uh, the guy who who is who. Uh, he can uh, he can count the the, the best. The best news about the week is, are the goals uh, of Milik in the last uh, in the last game in, uh, in Coupe de France, and if Milik um, start to uh, to score because Milik is a striker with one month or well, two months in the season where he scored a lot. He was like that in Ajax, he was like that in Napoli, and I think it will be don't change in Marseille. That he needed that uh, that goals, and I think he can follow. Uh, in that uh, game, the odds at home for Olympique Marseille 1.70 are interesting and I think Marseille can win against Stade de Reims. And uh, the team that is unable to win is San Etienne, bottom of the table is still, uh, they are playing at home against Nantes, uh, they didn't change actually the strike with the new manager with Sable in his debut on the bench they were defeated 2-0 uh, against Reims and Nantes they are in good run actually they beat Lance and Loria and surprisingly uh, San Etienne are favorites for this game yes 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 uh, now what he changed with uh, with the with with Duprat signing in, in San Etienne uh, Duprat is, is pragmatic He's a pragmatical trainer. He's a, and we saw in the first uh, in the first uh, training. He said to the team, "We don't must to go to press high every time. We must to uh, to play with um, 20 or 30 30 meter um, uh, down uh, respect to the PL, uh, to the PL, uh, time." Um, now the first game it was against uh, a team not uh, was uh, a Liga team, but they win 1-0 and then don't they don't receive uh, a goal. Not from be the beginning of the, the season uh, is a team who need a lot of occasion to uh, to score uh, for the situation for the. A substitution about the trainer for the capacity of Duprat to motivate his team because Duprat is not really tactical manager but he's a motivation uh, manager and that team are, have a lot of quality because you saw or you analyze the team about Saint Etienne and we have a lot of quality he's not uh, his place in classification he must to, to win he must to win he don't have choice for that game and they think that he can he can win that uh, that game the odds are interesting 2.45 for the Saint-Étienne winning tomorrow let's hope that Saint-Étienne finally get a victory and if they get a victory they will get closer to Troyes one of the other teams that are really bad in this uh, league and together with Logia they are not getting points actually five defeats in the last uh, six games uh, as i said very close to uh, get into the relegation spots and they are playing against Brest that their amazing run, run came to an end against Montpellier after six consecutive victories. It's not a bad uh, territory to get another victory for Brest. 
It then was to react uh, to have a, a reaction eh, because the 0 4 for, against Montpellier eh, was a surprise for the, the logical, uh, for the logical uh, uh, way. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, um, I think twice he have a lot of problem. They have a lot of problem. We, we saw that um, in the last two games, especially against the Rodin at home, but we saw especially against Nossi because against Nossi. They're winning 1-0. They're sent off a player of Nossi. Nossi is, is the last team in the, in the bottom in the, in the League 2. Eh? They're sent off a player of Nossi. Nossi draw. And then during the extra time, they're sent off two players of Nossi and they're able to lose that game. I think they're, they're, they show a, a, a big fragility, a psychological fragility. And, and that one against Brest, is a really strong team um, in the psychological uh, way can be marked uh, the game uh, and the the winning of Brest with uh, no bet uh, if draw odds 2.06 as so interesting to uh, to avoid that indeed Brest uh, Asian handicap zero or draw no bet as you mentioned odds 2.06 so if there is a draw you get your money back if Brest win you win your bet Brest to win by the way as we highlighted 2.95 if someone wants to take uh, more risk then Alain this is coming to an end the only thing missing to enjoy these Wednesday games is your account yes first Bordeaux Lille Sign two odds one point ninety three. Yep. OM Reims sign one odds one point seventy. Yes. Trois Brest sign two uh, draw uh, no bet odds two point zero six. Yes. And Lorient, Paris Saint-Germain, both team, no score, odds 2.14 for odds. a total 14. Ah, 2.14, pardon, sorry. Total odds are? Total, total odds 14.46. 14.46. Then, Alain, Joël Noël, thank you very much. Of course, it's been a pleasure being with you in this uh, 2021 and of course see you next year yes merry christmas thank you very much Edu. Ciao, ciao. Right. you have now all the info to bet on this wednesday last match day in france let me know what you think about alain's tips in the comment section of course don't forget as well to click on the like button subscribe to our channel click on the bell notifications and remember we also have a podcast for you See you soon and Joe Natal.